Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with GTA 5 while launching the game you got the error Rockstar Game Launcher failed to initialize. So without wasting time let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all let's start with the basic troubleshooting steps. Go ahead and launch the steam into your system. Now once steam is started click on the option add a game and choose the option add a non steam game. You need to add the rockstar game launcher right into the steam by choosing this particular option. From here scroll down to find rockstar games and if it is not available simply browse the directory which is available in C drive program files rockstar games launcher and here you will find the rockstar games launcher. Double click to add the launcher. Now hit the option add selected program. Now you can see the launcher is ready right over here. Now click on the option play to launch the game. If this method failed to work out, nextly head over to this PC, C drive, again you need to open the game directory of the Rockstar game launcher which is in C drive program files. Now what you need to do is to simply add a underscore mark next to Rockstar games. Right click choose the option rename and in the front simply type an underscore. Once you have done so, hit the enter key. You can see here I have added a underscore before the rockstar. Once you have done so, go ahead and try to relaunch the game. Now if this simple fixes doesn't help you resolve the issue, let's proceed with the advanced troubleshooting steps. Go ahead and open the rockstar game launcher directory which is in C drive program files rockstar games launcher and here you will find two files launcher as well as launcher patcher right click on each of the file choose option properties click compatibility tab and if this option is check mark uncheck it and check mark the option run this program as an administrator hit apply and ok button do the same with launcher patcher right click properties compatibility uncheck this option and check mark this option hit apply and ok button. Now you need to open the directory of the GTA 5 also. At my end again it is in this PC D drive games GTA 5. Here you will find play GTA 5. Right click choose option properties and do the same steps. Uncheck this option and check mark this option. Do the same with another exe file with GTA 5 name. Right click on it choose option properties compatibility uncheck this option and check mark the option hit apply and ok button. Once you have done these changes go ahead and relaunch the game to fix out the issue of rockstar game launcher fail to initialize. Now if this method failed to work out let's proceed with a third step. In third step again open the game directory program files rockstar games launcher redistributables social club. Now here you will find social club setup. Go ahead double click to install the social club setup into your system. Select the language, continue with the installation, accept the terms and conditions. Now hit the close option. Once this social club is installed at your end it may ask for the administrative privileges to open rockstar game launcher. At this point of time you simply need to hit the no key. Yes, hit the no option and you will be able to launch the game without the issue of rockstar game launcher fail to initialize. Now if this method also failed to work out let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu choose option run. Type here appwiz.cpl and then hit the enter key. You need to uninstall rockstar games sdk as well as launcher one by one. Click on the option uninstall to uninstall both the programs from your system. Uninstall Rockstar Games SDK also. Once uninstalled, close it. Now open the game directory again, C drive, program files and here is Rockstar Games folder. Right click on it and choose the option delete. After deleting the folder, you need to head over to C drive, program files x86. Here right click, create a new folder and give it a name rockstar games 
once you give it a name open up your browser and download the launcher again into a pc Once downloaded, launch the launcher into a system to install the Rockstar Games launcher into your PC. Select the language, hit the continue button, accept the terms and conditions and this time you need to change this particular directory by clicking on the option browse and browse the folder that we have just created which is in C drive program files x86 and here we have created a new folder with the name Rockstar Games. So, you need to select this folder and click on the option OK. Now, click on the option Continue. This will go ahead and install the Rockstar Games launcher into your PC. Uncheck this option, close it. Once installed, go ahead and try to relaunch the game and hopefully this will fix out the issue of Rockstar Games launcher failed to initialize. Now, if this also failed to work out, in next step, you need to do a clean installation of the launcher. To do so, open up your browser and here is the official website of the Revo installer. Click on the option free download. Now scroll down and download the portable version which is totally free to use. Go ahead, download it into your PC and save it. Once it is downloaded, open the zip folder and unzip the folder inside the zip folder. Now open the unzip folder Right click on Revo U port and choose the option run as administrator. Now all the installed programs will be shown right in front of you. At this point of time, you need to find the Rockstar Games launcher into your system. Click on it and choose the option uninstall. Once uninstalled, it will ask to scan the remaining registries. Select the option moderate and hit the scan option to scan for the remaining registries present in your system so that you can completely uninstall the Rockstar Games launcher from your PC. Select all and hit delete. Once it is done, close it. Now again, open the official website and download the launcher like we have already downloaded in the previous step. Restart your PC, make sure to restart your PC and after restarting, relaunch the downloaded launcher Select the language, accept the terms and conditions and this time choose the option reset to default to install the game into the default location. After installing, check mark this particular option and hit close option. This will go ahead and relaunch the launcher. Now once the launcher try to restart, if it is updating, wait for it to update the launcher or it may ask you or it may again give you the same error of Rockstar Games Launcher failed to initialize. So let's see if the error comes out or not at this point of time. Now if the launcher doesn't start for you, you need to head over to the C drive, program files, Rockstar Games, launcher, redistributable, social club and double click to run the social club setup, this will install the social club. Once installed, restart your PC and hopefully you will be able to launch the game without the error of fail to initialize after update. If this also failed to work out, in last step, right click on start menu, choose the option run and type in gpedit.msc and hit the enter key. Now over here under the user configuration, expand as administrative template and click on the option system. Now in this right pane, Press the D key to find a value with the name Don't Run Specified Windows Applications. Double click to open it, choose the option Enable and click on the option Show over here. Now at this point of time, you need to add a value over here. So type in social-club-setup-e.exe. Now hit the OK button. Now hit Apply and OK button. Now go ahead restart your PC and relaunch the game and hopefully this will completely fix out the issue of Rockstar Games Launcher fail to initialize after the update. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.